the Planet Zoo 1.13 update brought a bunch of really cool features, but nothing that I've really been wanting. Instead, what I want, I've been saying for a while, and we're going to talk about exactly what it is that I want and what some of you guys probably want as well. Welcome everyone, my name's Leaf, and it's so great for you guys to join us today as we talk about my most anticipated 1.14 free update features for Planet Zoo. Now, let's take a look back at what 1.13 brought us. It brought us animal sociality, it brought us null paths, it brought us multi-axis advanced movement, and the climbable asset toggle. All features that I've been very much enjoying, except for that animal sociality thing. I really don't understand that, and I don't want to, really. However, while they are extremely useful, these update features have really been kind of lacking for me. I don't know, I feel like I can't really sink my teeth into this as much as I can for, let's just say for example, the watercolor update, or we could even bring up the billboard update. Those were all fantastic features that brought like new pieces to the game, new gameplay to the game. It was great. Now, moving into the future, I want more of these updates that you could really sink your teeth into. Updates that really change the way you play the game and not really just something like the disable climbing where it's like, yes, that's great. Like, I can actually load in the city conservation center right now. That's excellent. But I don't get enough out of that. Like, it's great, and I love features like that, but let's talk about what I really want for the game. Now, I know I say this every single update, but new transportation would be the number one thing on my list. Being able to build a big zoo is great and all, but being able to integrate a ride into the zoo is so much cooler than anything else. Unfortunately, the rides that we do have in Planet Zoo are very lacking. The train is very Disneyland-like, and I know some people like that, but personally for me, it really doesn't fit the game too well, or at least my building style. The 4x4 is nice, but that's really only good for big safari parks and stuff. The monorail, that's pretty good. Honestly, it's probably one of the more realistic ones in here. And the gondola isn't even a gondola. It's like this weird spaceship Star Trek looking thing. Not a big fan of that one. What I really want are two transportation items in particular. Number one on my list is the bucket gondola. These guys can be found all over the world. Mostly at San Diego Zoo is the one that comes to mind, and they are just exquisite. They're very old-fashioned, very 50s kinds of vibes, but a lot of zoos have these. They call them the Sky Fari, and I feel like that would be a really fun thing for Planet Zoo to implement uh, if they have ever, like, you know, bring this to the game. I feel like that would even be, like, a fun little career mode thing where, you know, how they come up with, like, the, um, the career mode maps, maybe Dominic Myers had, like, you know, a gondola going across the place. I really don't know. I feel like that'd be super fun to have. Uh, moving on from there, the next one I would want are tourist trams. Kind of like, you know, the San Diego Safari Park tram ride. I know a whole lot of other zoos have these little trams that go around. They're essentially kind of a mix between the train and the 4x4. And it's a much more realistic take on what you would see at a zoo. Because really, they might have trains, but those trains probably aren't real trains. I know at my local zoo, at many of my local zoos actually, we have these little train carts. But they're not really trains, they're like just cars that look like trains. I don't know, it's kind of weird stuff. But I would love something like that. Something that, you know, is a lot more realistic to have in a zoo. Uh, because even though, like, us bro nation builders, I guess, I'm not even going to consider myself on the same wavelength as them, but we like our realistic builds, and if we could have a little bit more kineticness in there, and that essentially means something's moving, something's, like, making itself known, um, it would be so much better. So, Frontier, I really ask, please, bring these little, um, these little gondolas and stuff to the game. It'd be really, really awesome. Number two on my list is going to be the terrain swap. Now, if you actually load into Planet Zoo, you would be able to access this menu. I'm showing you something that is completely in the game. Someone found it accidentally one day, and we've kind of just been staring at it for the longest time. I feel like it's just waiting to be fleshed out for the rest of the game. Now, keep in mind, I'm sure Frontier would need to do some fixes on it. Uh, because in Planet Zoo, terrain does matter when you're building in Franchise or Challenge mode. 
Um, you got to make sure you have the proper amount of rock, proper amount of grass, yada, yada, yada. So obviously you wouldn't be able to change like you can in Planet Coaster. Uh, one grass terrain for a rock terrain it just wouldn't work for the game. At least Frontier wouldn't want you to do that. Uh, instead, you would probably be able to swap out one grass color for another grass color. Specifically short grass for short grass, long grass for long grass, yada, yada, yada. I really wish we could get this in the game. It's such a worthwhile thing to have. And I would really hope that we got this sooner rather than later. Uh, because I would just love to have something like that. You can access this by holding control and actually clicking resume on one of your maps. And you can see this thing over here where you can kind of swap out your paint styles and stuff. I'll actually record this for you guys too, so you can see this right here. But you can swap the paint style, and then you can scroll down. It's kind of broken right now, because obviously uh, this isn't how the game is supposed to look. But you can kind of swap these out. You could change out, like, the ground uh, for another kind of ground. So you could change that one out for, like, a little bit more of a rugged one. And you can change the desert grass, or sand, rather. Uh, out for another kind of sand. So let's just say, for example, you really like the desert ground over here for a temperate map. You can do that. This is something I really wish we had in the game, but unfortunately it's been kind of sitting in the game code for the longest time, and I really hope we get it. It would be an incredible thing to have. Last but not least is an item that I feel like we all really, really want inside, but no one has really mentioned so far. Now, I love the rocks in Planet Zoo. The natural ones, the faux ones, but what I really want is something in the middle of there. What I would love as an update for Planet Zoo that would bring new scenery items to the game would be faux rocks in the shape of the base game biome rocks. Now, this would be kind of an under, kind of like a quieter piece, uh, but I would just love something like this. These rocks are just too good to use, but the only issue is they're not flexi color, and that's something I would really like in the game. Uh, they're just very unique shapes, very unique pieces, and I just feel like that is such a wonderful piece that we're all kind of missing out on. And yeah, in the end, that's just really something I feel like that would make an entire update. That would be just the piece to end all pieces. But of course, I'm always curious to hear what you guys have to say. Would these ideas make you happy? Would they not? Is there another update item that I'm forgetting about? What about giraffe feeding? What about just animal feeding in general? What about playgrounds? Anything like that. Let me know in the comments below what you think your top three would be. And I can't wait to hear from all of you in the comments. Regardless, have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Thank you all for stopping by. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take care and bye bye